And developing now, pushback is growing in Oregon over the mask mandate still in place in public places and especially in schools. Now, this was the scene in Salem today as parents and kids protested masks. We want to check in with Lisa Balick now, who's following another school district deciding to violate the state rule. Lisa? Yeah, it's the Malala River School District. The board voted last night to go ahead and lift the mask mandate at its schools across the board starting March 3rd. That's four weeks before the governor says it's going to be lifted statewide. You can see that that's going to be a problem. Now, in fact, even in Malala today, there was no school at any of the schools. There was a student anti-mask protest so disruptive yesterday. The superintendent canceled school today, saying student safety was difficult to manage at this time. At the special school board meeting last night, the board voted to exercise what they call local control and remove the mask mandate in two weeks, starting March 3rd. We've seen the countless detrimental effects that these illogical mandates have done to our students. As you can see worldwide, our students and our community members are not the only ones who are fed up. In Salem, as you mentioned earlier, more protests today demanding the mask mandate be dropped immediately. State health leaders say it's still in place because hospitals are still overwhelmed with COVID cases. Now, I checked with the state education department. If Malala does violate the state mandate in two weeks, their federal COVID relief funds would be frozen, and the district could also face daily fines from the state. Now, I've been reaching out daily to the governor's office again today, trying to find out when is the governor going to give a date when the mask mandate will be lifted everywhere else except in the schools. Still waiting for an answer, but the governor is maintaining March 31st is the date when they're supposed to be lifted in the schools. Back to you.